The first thing I had to do to construct my organic light main diode was to create an emissive ruthenium complex film. I did this by taking approximately 0.3 grams of polyvinyl alcohol and dissolving it in 10 milliliters of water. I used a microwave to do this, taking care to make sure that the solution did not boil. I then, I then filter the polyvinyl alcohol solution to remove any undissolved chunks. I proceeded to dissolve 0.035 grams of tris bipyridyl ruthenium 2 chloride salt in 3 milliliters of the polyvinyl alcohol solution. Next, I identify the conductive side of the indium tin oxide coated glass by use of the multimeter. The non conductive side registered no resistance. But the conductive side offered a finite resistance of 30 to 40 ohms. The conductive side of the glass serves as an anode for the reaction. Then, I used a piece of double sided tape to attach the indium tin glass oxide conductive side up to a fan. Using a cotton applicator, I spread a layer of the ruthenium complex film on the center of the glass, making sure that I allowed for some uncoated space near the edges. After placing a splatter shield over the fan, I spun the fan at 2,500 revolutions per minute for 60 seconds to spin drive the, the ruthenium complex onto the slide. I repeated this process for four coats. To finish drying the remaining moisture in the film from the slide, I used a hair dryer. I punched a, a hole of 2 sixteenths of an inch in diameter in a mask constructed out of duct tape and aluminum foil. I used this mask to apply a gallium indium eucetic cathode. By, apl by applying the positive lead of a 4.5 volt power supply to the indium tin oxide glass anode and the negative lead to the gallium indium cathode, I was able to get the ruthenium layer to emit light. The current caused the oxidation of positive 3 ruthenium ions and the reduction of positive 1 ruthenium ions. The ruthenium three positive three ions and the ruthenium positive one ions drift toward the center of the film until they are adjacent to each other. At that point, they combine to form two positive two ruthenium ions. One is in its ground state, and the other is in an excited state. The latter emits light as it returns to its stereoscopic ground state. 